This week's most interesting news from the world of AI. Which countries will OpenAI's AI agent operator be available in after its U.S. launch? What does NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang say about DeepSeek after his company lost $600 billion in stock value? And who is eagerly awaiting the release of ChatGPT-4.5? Find out all this and more in today's video. Before we start, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any AI updates. OpenAI expands operator to more countries. OpenAI's AI assistant operator is expanding beyond the US. It's now available in the UK, Australia, Brazil, Canada, India, Japan, Singapore, and South Korea. This AI-powered tool can perform a variety of web-based tasks, including online shopping, booking flights, filling out forms, and even creating memes, all without human input. Right now, it's only available for ChatGPT Pro users at $200 per month, but OpenAI plans to make it available to more users soon. Could this be the future of AI-powered personal assistants? Let us know what you think in the comments. NVIDIA CEO responds to DeepSeek's market disruption. After a $600 billion drop in NVIDIA's market value, CEO Jensen Huang has finally addressed concerns about DeepSeek's AI model. DeepSeek, a Chinese AI firm, shocked the industry by creating a powerful open source model using weaker chips and less funding, raising fears that NVIDIA's high-end GPUs might not be as necessary as we once thought. However, Wang insists that investors are wrong to panic, saying that NVIDIA's computing power is still crucial for AI's future, particularly in post-training and inference. What do you think? Is NVIDIA in trouble, or is this just market overreaction? Microsoft prepares to host OpenAI's GPT-4.5 and GPT-5. Microsoft is gearing up to host OpenAI's next-generation models, GPT-4.5, and GPT-5 on its Azure Cloud platform. GPT-4.5, codenamed Orion, is expected to launch by the end of February. OpenAI says it will be their last non-chain of thought model, meaning it will generate more direct responses without breaking down reasoning into multiple steps. Meanwhile, GPT-5 is set to arrive in May 2025, and OpenAI CEO Sam Altman claims it will be a lot smarter than GPT-4. Microsoft is already expanding server capacity to handle these models. Are you excited for GPT-4.5 and GPT-5? Let us know in the comments. The New York Times introduces AI tools in the newsroom. The New York Times is officially integrating AI into its newsroom. They've launched Echo, an AI tool designed to help summarize articles, edit stories, and generate SEO-friendly headlines. Additionally, the NYT has approved the use of AI tools like GitHub Copilot and Google's Vertex AI for coding and research. However, they made it clear, AI will not replace human journalists. All AI-assisted content must be fact-checked and edited by professional writers before publication. Do you think AI in journalism is a good thing, or does it risk compromising editorial integrity? The Guardian signs AI partnership with OpenAI. The Guardian Media Group has announced a major partnership with OpenAI allowing its journalism to be featured directly in ChatGPT. This means users will now see Guardian articles, summaries, and archives when searching for news within ChatGPT. The partnership also allows the Guardian to use ChatGPT Enterprise to develop new features and tools within their newsroom. This move follows similar deals made by the Associated Press, News Corp, and Axel Springer, showing a trend where traditional news organizations are embracing AI. What do you think about AI-powered news? Could this change how we consume journalism? And that's a wrap on this week's top AI stories. AI is transforming everything, and we're just getting started. If you found this video informative, hit that like button, subscribe for more AI updates, and don't forget to turn on notifications.